Hey guys, what's up? So in the previous video, we saw how to derive a state transition matrix. So in this video, let us see a few problems, numerical problems as in how to find this particular state transition matrix. My name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the Backwards Engineering community where I make a journey easy for you. So let us see this particular question. Find the state transition matrix of the following state model. So here we are given a particular state model over here. So here when we observe this carefully what we observe is the fact that this particular equation it might look a bit complex but this is actually very 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 simple. This is just a state equation. This is of the form x dash of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t very 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 simple and here this is the output equation given by y of t is equal to c into x of t. So in the previous video we have derived for a fact that the state transition matrix which is given as phi of t is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of s i minus a the whole inverse. Very simple. So here A is nothing but this particular matrix that is 1 0 1 1. So here let us take SI minus A. So SI minus A is equal to. So here I is the identity matrix that is 1 0 0 1. This is what you refer to as I. So S into I is nothing but S 0 0 s. So this is s into i. So s i is nothing but this. So this is equal to say s 0 0 s. This is s i minus a. Here this is particular a. So here a can be written as 1 0 1 1. So this is SI minus A. So on simplifying this, we would get this is equal to S minus 1. The first term is S minus 1. The second term is 0 minus 0. So here it is 0. The third term is 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. And the fourth term is S minus 1. So here also we have S minus 1. So this is SI minus A. So next, next we have to find SI minus A, the whole inverse. So SI minus A, the whole inverse is given by the particular formula that we have seen in 12th standard mathematics, which is given as the inverse inverse of a matrix is nothing but 1 by the modulus or the determinant of this particular matrix that is 1 by determinant of SI minus A into the adjoint matrix of this particular SI minus A. Very simple 12 standard mathematics. SI minus A the whole inverse is equal to 1 by dt into adjoint that is 1 by determinant of SI minus A into adjoint of SI minus A. Very simple guys, this is just basic 12 standard mathematics. SI minus A, the whole inverse is nothing but 1 by dit of SI minus A into adjoint of SI minus A. So here, let us find these particular values. So determinant of SI minus A, determinant of SI minus A is nothing but, here, a, this is SI minus A. So determinant is nothing but S minus 1 into S minus 1 minus this particular multiplication that is cross multiplying s minus 1 into s minus 1 which is s minus 1 the whole square so here s minus 1 the whole square minus 0 into minus 1 which is 0 so this becomes s minus 1 the whole square minus 0 which is nothing but s minus 1 the whole square basic 12 standard mathematics determinant of a particular matrix now next Next, we have to find adjoint of SI minus A. This is also basic 12 standard mathematics. So here, if we have to find the adjoint of SI minus A, first we have to find the cofactor of SI minus A. So here, first, cofactor of SI minus A is nothing but this is equal to this is very simple. So first, here, first, this term is what you have to find. So first, when we take this term, we have to cancel out these two terms. So the only term remaining is S minus 1. So the first term is S minus 1. 
very simple technique so here next we have to find the second term so if this is the term then we have to now hide the row and the column over here so the only term left is minus 1 so here this is now here we have to write the negative of this particular term so minus of minus 1 which is nothing but plus 1 now here next we have to find this term so when we take this term hide this and hide this we have 0 but here we are supposed to take negative of that term so negative of 0 is nothing but 0 and here this finally here when we take this and this all we get is s minus 1 so the positive value of that itself which is s minus 1 so here plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus that is the way we have to take so this is the cofactor matrix of si minus a now adjoint adj of si minus a is nothing but the transpose of this particular matrix which is nothing but this is equal to s minus 1 this goes here which is 0 this comes here which is 1 and this is s minus 1 this is nothing but adjoint of si minus a now finally we have si minus a the whole inverse which is given as si minus a the whole inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of si minus a into adjoint of si minus a so here determinant of si minus a is s minus 1 the whole squared which is 1 divided by s minus 1 the whole squared multiplied by this which is s minus 1 0 1 s minus 1 so this is nothing but first term s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 the whole squared which is nothing but 1 divided by s minus 1 here 0 by anything is nothing but 0 here we have 1 divided by s minus 1 the whole square and here we have s minus 1 divided by s minus 1 the whole square which is nothing but 1 divided by s minus 1 so now finally all we have to do is take the inverse Laplace transform of this because the state transition matrix is the inverse Laplace transform of si minus a the whole inverse so L inverse of si minus a the whole inverse is nothing but this is equal to so here we have 1 by s minus 1 so the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s minus 1 is simply but e raised to t here inverse Laplace transform of 0 is 0 inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s minus 1 the whole square is t into e raised to t and the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s minus 1 is nothing but e raised to t this thus is simply the required state transition matrix of this particular state model given by this particular state equation and this particular output equation as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it this thus is simply how you find the state transition matrix of a particular state model represented by a particular state equation and an output equation as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of how you can find the state transition matrix of a particular state model and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.